<laughs> Hello everyone, we are back with our last session of Legends of Wild Mount until December 30th. Because we take we take our Christmas break next week. Yes. So announcements. That's one of them. We're doing a Christmas break starting December 18th to December 30th. Uh, and the first game back after that uh, holiday break is this one. So hopefully we can end on something very interesting to tide everybody over uh, until then. Um, what else? Uh, come the new year, I'm going to be looking into uh, supporting another charity. Because uh, I've been slacking on that just because of a bunch of stuff that's been going on in my life personally. So there's been a lot to deal with. Um, so we're looking at doing that, uh, tonight at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, after this game, we're doing our annual Christmas one-shot, we're doing a Gremlins game, uh, I don't know how it's gonna go, I'm very curious, uh, it's gonna be interesting, um, so if you like Gremlins, like the movies, come on out, it hopefully meets expectations, I don't know what's gonna happen, um, I have barest of bones uh, of notes because it's a one-shot, so we'll see what happens. Um, one-shots are tricky, so... Yeah, that's gonna be tonight. Uh, hopefully everyone will come dressed up. If you don't, whatever, it's Christmas. Who cares? I have my Christmas shirt. It's C-3PO and R2-D2. Um, those are Star Wars characters. Um, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So, last we left off, you all woke up, or not woke up, but you all were finishing up your bath in the, uh, uh, sorry, chat said something really weird, and I'm, uh, uh, caught me off guard. I need to not look at chat when I stream. Um, so... Y'all were taking a bath in a bath that was in Jorhas, and, um, Enoch had a little vision, and it was interesting. Saw another Goliath, the leader of his herd, and he saw some other things, and was gifted a little boon from his deity, Zalakas, and... After the bath, you all decided to go to Talindra's house for the dinner you were invited to. And uh, it was an interesting dinner, kind of awkward. Uh, a lot of formalities that didn't make sense. And um, yeah. You left dinner confused uh, and decided to make your way to the... Uh, deep River Mines, just inside the Vermalaka Wildwood. Upon arriving at the Deep, deep River Mines, your task is to look for the foreman of the mine, who has gone missing, or at least gone silent for a bit. And as you arrived at this mine, you found it empty and eerily quiet. And, uh... Yeah... And that's where we're going to pick up. If I'm not mistaken, Enoch summoned something. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Summoned, something you summoned your yeah. horse. Yeah. Okay. He assumes it's Umbra. Mm -hmm. So he's excited. Yeah. Umbra! I, like, walk up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, fight or run what's going on <laughs> he's like petting the frightening looking <laughs> horse's uh, face it's it's fine I think I, I think <clears throat> I think this is Umbra uh, okay how did, how did he get here um, um, I don't, I don't know a hundred percent. I don't, a lot of 
what my goddess can give me. I think it's from her, but what she gives me is very confusing at times. But I think this is, I think this is from her. You mean the one that occasionally has blood come out of our eyes? Yeah, yes. Mm. All right, so par for the course, I guess. Okay. Um. Oh, he's like patting the horse. He's going to start talking to Umbra and Giant, telling Umbra how much he missed them. He's glad that they're back. Mm-hmm. So this horse has flames, like on its mane, as its mane. Yes. If I go up to it and sort of put my hand near the flames, are they actually like hot? They're like actually uh, like real flames. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, be careful! <laughs> be careful! <laughs> okay. Uh, after a few seconds, he's gonna try to hop, whoo, jump on. Umbra's back. He's going to assume it's Umbra. <laughs> so there's that. Um, how? There's lots of room in the mine, right? You guys are in the mine. You guys are in the mine. Oh, we're in the mine. You're just, oh. No, no, no. You're in the camp still. Okay. Uh, you all start stuff. looking at things. I'm going to give this a test. All right. I'm going to go have Got. a look around then. Um, Gravel's gonna go and try to see if he can inspect the surrounding area, maybe look for clues as to whether there was uh, a scuffle or some type of attack or yeah, he's gonna look for clues. Okay. Might hint at what happened. Alright, so... Can I help with that? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to follow him. Uh, and either both of you can make separate investigation checks or one of you can roll with advantage. I have expertise. Uh, you, you roll with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, that's a 27. 27. Uh, the, camp's, the camp is indeed abandoned. Uh, and as you're kind of patrolling, looking around the buildings, just in like the corners of some of them, or like kind of between the buildings and trees, you see very fine strands of bluish white webs. Um, would I, being from this area, kind of get a sense of, you know, what kind of creature? I'm assuming it's some sort of spider like creature. Most likely spiders, yeah. Yeah, just like a giant spider. You, you would know that the Vermilock Wildwood is infested with giant spiders, so it's probably just probably just spiders. Does it look to the? Does it look similar to the? Oh, you said that the webbing. Did it's, I hear you right? And it's bluish. Have, it's okay. blue and white, though. So gravel, based on where you're from, you can mm-hmm. give me nature or history check. Okay. Go oh, yes. That's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh face spiders really like the underdark and they leave behind bluish white webs. Mm. You see that tint to the webbing there? Yes. Some kind of strange spider. Um, uh, can't give you too many details because I've only just heard about them, seen that stuff before, but stayed clear. All right. So we can expect some kind of odd spiders then, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, that's not particularly surprising i must say yeah and have you got any fire in case we come across bigger clumps of this stuff um i don't have any spells that can create fire i do have spells that can 
create a sort of force wave, but not not fire. Mm. All right. Uh, Lindak will actually be going into some of these buildings and looking around, looking to see if he can find any people or bodies or any indication of where they may, okay. may be or have uh, gone. Or... Give me an investigation check as you just walk through the buildings. Uh, 16. Um, you're kind of drawn to one of the build the bigger buildings. You most likely assume it's the foreman's kind of uh, little office. Uh, and in there, you find a journal covered in bluish white webs sitting on a nearby table. Journal. Can I pull it out of the web? Like where yeah. is that? Yeah. What's it look like now? A journal. <laughs> Does it have a name on the cover? Yeah. Uh, Foreman Talon. All right. Uh, is it written in a language I can read? It Which is. Which would be? It's in common. Common, yeah. Are you reading it? Or are you flipping through it? Yeah, what's it say? Yeah. Okay. What can I read anyway? Uh, most of it is just business affairs and ever since taking over the mine and ironworks from the previous foreman named Foreman Bodo. Um, but the last ent entry is the most interesting one. Uh, it says two weeks ago, the miners heard something as they, had, as they began to mine deeper into the mine. Um, and a few days later, they saw something big with eight legs moving about. Uh, it mentions they plan on reaching out to the Aurora Watch to investigate the mines to determine if it was safe to keep working, but you get the sense the message was never sent. I see. So, kind of get the idea. Anyway, I'm just reading that, so I'll go find my friends. Okay. Um, was there more buildings? How many buildings? Like there are, but they're of no consequence. They're all just the same, empty, devoid of anything, filled with webs. No bodies, no. What no, about like no bodies left behind? Left, nothing left what behind. About, uh, no left behind clothes or anything like that? No clothes or anything. Nope. So whoever was here completely disappeared. All right. All right. Let's go back and find Tal and Gravel. Yeah, the camp's not big. Kind of ignore Enoch. He's playing with his horse. Yeah, the camp's not super big, so you can usually just see everybody. Enoch yeah. is running from the road in. He's just trying to get used to riding on a horse again. Does he have a saddle or is he just nope. bareback? It's bareback. Nope. Well, you have one tight thighs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just yeah, back and forth on this uh, flaming horse. Yeah. Now, okay, this is a question I have for you as a DM. Mm -hmm. The additional things that come along with this type of horse mm -hmm. will I? Is that something that will come about play during, or will this be like like the whole ability to? I'm going to assume uh, that what he's talking about is how I know what he's his talking balls about. are being crushed while he's riding this. Oh yeah, totally. Battle. They're like they're pulverized. Yeah. <laughs> You've lost yep. your eyes and your uh, no. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll just have to figure that out, won't you? Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. 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 Okay. Yeah, he would have no reason to. Us but but the flames, but up. the flames that you're literally sitting on from its mane, aren't hurting you. Oh. Oh, perfect. Okay. Cool. So essentially, when you're riding on this creature, whoever it may be, you have fire resistance. But only when you're on the creature? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. When you're... Only when you're riding it. You might make you not take a feat. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will do a few laps, essentially, back and okay. forth, getting used to it. Sure. And then once his tailbone is sufficiently bruised, um, he'll kind of, oh, 
like wander up, like rubbing the lower part of its back. Okay. Umbra following. Okay. Uh, oh, did y'all find anything? We yeah, found let's... some odd webs. Oh. oh. Webs. Hmm. This uh, journal is the foreman's journal, the foreman that we came here to see. And he mentions that there were, as they got deeper in the, as they mined a little deeper, they were uh, attacked or invaded or something by some kind of eight legged creature from down below. Does that make any kind of sense to you? Oh, yes, of course. Um, so underground consistent. spiders. And gravel, if, if these are face spiders, they might have dug a little too deep and mined into the underdark. He's going to keep that one close. He said <laughs> he said a bit already. Okay. All right, so we just need to kill some spiders. That should be easy, right? Well, Gravel was saying that they're sort of odd spiders. I don't know exactly what that yeah, means. But... I mean, they have a um, extra leg. Um, well, we know they're eight legged. That's the one thing we do know. Um, do I know any details, Justin? Other uh, than like, what'd you get for your DC again? Do you remember it all? I think I, I got don't... a twenty-three. I rolled a nineteen, and I have a plus three. It's twenty-two. Okay. Um, based on your level at the time, I don't think you would have encountered any because that would have been by like gravel. Um, right. Maybe I heard like a story and yeah, a they thing. disappear sometimes, mm. almost like they can teleport, like I, phase um, in and out. So I heard um, one time I heard this guy telling a story about how wandering the uh, tunnels in the Underdark, where near uh, Stone Crop. Came across some spiders and um, like he'd be looking at them one way one time and then he'd look away for like a split second or just blink and they'd be gone or somewhere else. Well, no, that's not scary. Well, uh, we're talking about um, transportation, not invisibility. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Either way. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So we how, should go how and get rid of these, them. How big are these spiders? I imagine they can range from like, you know, house size to. But yeah, they like they range from they, if they're the newborns. The house. If they're newborns, they're like maybe this big. Uh, and then when they get like maybe after a couple months, they can get up to be the size of uh, giant spiders, like. Oh, ten, when I say ten house spiders, I meant yeah. like like house spiders. So yeah, I she. I think she was saying you a house spider than like the yeah. size of a house spider. <laughs> I was just joking. Right? And then yeah, they eventually joke. get to be about the size like ten feet, just around. Um, oh, pretty large. Hey, hey, uh, gravel. Where's the point? Me to the entrance. Oh right. Um. And you all can see the entrance. It's like, it's, yeah, it's all over here. It. Okay. I mean, it, it, Growl, I mean, Enoch wouldn't be able to see it unless it was within ten, like feet. 10 feet, right? Yeah. That's why he said right. point me. So, so if you start right. walking, he'll like oh, follow right. along. Yeah. That's right. All right. So you're all heading uh, towards the like the entrance to the mines. Mm -hmm. Okay. And unless there's something that stands out in the immediate nope. environment. Okay. Enoch will. That's whenever they get close to the entrance, he's gonna want to. Um, he, I think part of him feels that he's probably more adept in like survivaling, like in the wilds, like looking for tracks or looking for mm -hmm. key indications. So he's gonna, with his new sight, attempt to uh, look for any kind of signs of struggle or like drags or um, or even like pinpoint because spider mandibles or spider legs have like you know they're not yeah. like flat feet. Uh, he's gonna try to look for that around there give me a survival check okay 
Well, not bad. Uh, 19. 19. It's not that you see them. It's more so that you have a little movie played out for you in your head. Very similar to if in Dark Souls you touch one of the blood spots and it shows you how somebody died. <laughs> oh, um, okay. You like you definitely like you definitely can see tracks of like something being dragged down into the mines, and for some reason that gift of sight you were given gives you a little extra. I know it doesn't say that in the feet, but it's really cool to do say it okay. does. Um, you see a just a random drow. Miner, looks like they're just a, a worker, covered in webs and being pulled down the ramparts into the mines. Can I, they're, Not dead. But, okay, but so still, I wouldn't be able to see the actual source. It's just, I see this yeah. drow. Okay. Oh. Dare so he's, I, yeah, imagine his like gaze is like following mm-hmm. and he looks like he's looking yeah. up toward the mouth or like the entrance so he's no longer looking at the ground for y'all's sake for he's like look he like oh and as you all do get close to these entrance uh the entrance of the mines descend downwards on wooden ramparts so it's like a it's an open hole in the ground and they descend down these wooden ramparts and dense and oh. long descending staircases uh in the center of this area is a massive pit where the mines are, with a pulley system connected to large to a large stone basin filled to the brim with iron ore, rocks, and assorted minerals. And this basin has been pulled to the top of the mine shaft. Uh, the eerie silence continues into the mines. You don't hear the sounds of mining, miners, or anything of the sort. It's dead silent. Well, I suppose that's it. Looks like it was spiders. Well, we better head back. To give them the news, right? Were we supposed to just figure out what it was? Uh, they said to investigate. They so, did say that. Nothing, nothing did... too explicit. I mean, we we should we should go deeper see if anybody is still alive Anyone? down there. But uh, um, wait. didn't they say they wanted the foreman mm-hmm. to find foreman? Yeah. They, right. I well, think they said that. I did. I. <laughs> It's weird. It's strange still. I'm not used to this. But as I was looking around, I saw uh, a partial vision of a drow uh, wrapped in webbing being drug into the mine. So, yes, I think it is spiders. But did the drow look, did they look alive or did they look like they were struggling? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. They're bringing them down there um, alive. The, their mouth, they were wriggling and mm-hmm. their mouth was open as if they were screaming. I couldn't hear anything, but I knew I could tell. Um, or maybe I did hear Yeah, something. their mouth was open. Yeah, okay. you, would have, you wouldn't have heard it. Their mouth yeah. was open in a scream, but their limbs were very, like, locked up. But you could see that their eyes were moving. Oh, got it. Okay, I see what you mean. Okay. So oh, God, probably that's horrific. paralyzed and being pulled yeah. down into the mines. So there may be, I don't. How long ago Eight-legged was this? Eight legged freaks, y'all. <laughs> Such a good movie. How long ago did they say the mine went silent? Do we know? The journal said two weeks. That you know, Lindak has, or, or sometime after that. Two weeks and a couple of days now, yeah. because of travel with us. <sighs> that might. Well, two weeks when they started hearing the sounds. Oh, got it. Okay, um, okay, okay. So it could be days maybe well sounding like maybe it's a rescue mission then. i mean um, uh, let's actually just plan on retrieving a, a piece of this guy or something he owns this foreman but if there are people to say that sounds great oh we'll do what we can i suppose and yeah there's this uh, it looks like it did, this pit goes down about 50 feet. Um, there's only like 50 feet of just moving down these ramparts and stuff to get actually into the mines. And again, yeah, you see a very large stone basin filled to the brim with ore, rocks, and assorted minerals, maybe gems. 
um, kind of positioned at the very top of the shaft. Top of the shaft is at the bottom of the pit? No, it's at, it's, at, it's at the very top. This basin's at the very top where all the ramparts are, where you guys are. It's activated. It's, and you can see like a pulley system nearby where this is lowered into the mine or lifted up into the mine so people aren't hauling like minerals up these ramparts and stairs. All right, so how do we want to go do this? You want to just head down? Uh, or It's just the one way down, right? It's like there's it's no a, like... That's the only way down, yeah. Yeah, and it's stairs going down, like kind of like spiraling. Yeah, stairs down. and like wooden beams. Um, okay. What about the basin thing? Does that go up and down? Can we use it? Does. There's a pull, yeah, there's a pulley system right there, but it's currently filled with rocks and ore. And it's already so, full. Right? Yeah. That's why it's at the top. Um, so, hmm. how far can I see down into the pit? Fifty I mean, feet. I've got, it goes I've got fifty. It goes yards, fifty feet to the floor of the mine. Okay. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I think we can go ahead and use this pulley system. I would like to also have a rope, just in case it fails or something we can get out quickly yeah okay um i do not oh, it would be perfect uh yeah enoch has a silk rope so he'll uh, no he'll leave the silk rope for talindra i i actually have feather fall so i maybe don't need one He's still gonna do it just in case. Okay. Um, <laughs> it would be nice to have one. <laughs> yeah, if, you get, uh, if you get one clocked again, <laughs> right? Uh, start... He'll he'll keep a hold of the of the of the nicer rope, okay. uh, the silken rope, but he'll take his hempen rope uh, mm -hmm. and look for. Um, are there any kind of like areas that he could tie it off that to oh, yeah. throw down the mine? Ch okay. There's like so he'll like, tie there's it like off. A, there's like so yeah, the mine camp is also part of the iron works. So you can right, do right, see right. you can see like abandoned like siege machines that were used for possibly like older wars. They're just laying about just and siege machines that are currently being built. Big old okay. metal machines. He will you can easily just loop it on one of those like edges and that thing's not going down. that thing's not going anywhere. Yeah. He'll try to make sure that it's close enough to where it'll fall where everyone can still grab it. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, there's a way out mm -hmm. if we need it. All right. Are there any torches around? There I are some. Not. I have torches. Would you like one? Um, yeah, not because I need it, but for sight, but it might be nice to have a bit I have a few. How many going. would you like? I'll take one. Okay, go ahead. Take one. Thanks. No problem. I take one out. I pass it over to you. Okay. All right. I'm going to light that thing up. Okay. Oh, good idea. Spider webs, right? I know mm -hmm. what you're thinking. Yeah. I mean, hopefully we aren't we aren't coming in contact with anything too intelligent. Otherwise, you know. Yeah, Lindex also going to light a torch. Okay. So, fun fact about dark vision, because I never read up on it. I just assumed it's magical sight and darkness. Uh, the only thing you have disadvantage on with dark vision in the dark is perception checks. Wait, what's that mean? So, oh, so you wouldn't have disadvantage on attacks. It just you'd still just, have disadvantage it's just perception. on perception because you're oh, still okay. kind of like you're not seeing in color. You're still seeing in shades, but it's just brighter shades. And then that's on cool. the, that's in the PHB, yeah. Apparently, so yeah, that's disadvantage disadvantage instead of just plain not being able to see. Uh, and then combat, it's just yeah, cool. Combat is just yeah, you're fine. <laughs> All right, torches. Um, so torches do help, yeah. Um, yeah, you can find, yeah, yeah. So there's no, yeah, there's no torches or any like mining equipment up here. It's all just like gone. 
Um, so are you cleaning out that basin to go down in? Or are you taking the stairs and ramparts down? Yeah, is there some kind of dumping system for it or something? No, like it's all manual. Half to hand? All hand really? manual, right. yep. Gravel go How big is it? The... It's, it's big enough for one medium creature to go down at a time. Okay, so it wouldn't take too long to him. Yeah. Gravel's going to check out what's in there. See if okay. they found anything cool. Uh, investigation check. Okay. Okay, Lindak will help. He'll be unloading stuff. You go through it. Okay. Everything, <laughs> so yeah, you're, everything that's being unloaded is very heavy, so it'll take about 20 minutes to unload everything. Yeah, I'm rolling really well. I rolled a 19 again. 19? So that's, um, a, that's a 27. Okay. A lot of it is, again, is iron ore that they use for the iron works rocks and four fist sized pieces of quartz hmm. that are about tw worth 27 gold each cool what a uh, precise number you said uh just a piece of quartz yeah four of them Okay, quartz. And you said twenty-seven gold each. Twenty-seven. Yep. And they weigh Four. about uh two two pounds each. Okay. Excellent. Got it. Same. And everything else is just stuff that the miners need, <laughs> like the metals, and it's just assorted just shit that they broke off the walls in order to get out of the mine. Mm. But it takes twenty minutes to clean up the basin. Oh shit. Hmm. <laughs> and uh one person can go down at a time. It's big enough for one person uh of medium size. Um I really not I... climb the rope. Lean it down. You can also you can also, there's also stairs and ramparts that go down into the mine as well. Yeah. Um Oh right, right, right. Yeah, he'll just start taking the stairs. Okay. With leading Umbra. <laughs> okay. So um yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we might need to get a move on. I uh, got a little <laughs> distracted. Good news, though. Um, about a, and he holds up the quartz. This is about a 108 gold worth of gems here. Well, that sounds like a lot. Not bad. For 20 minutes of work? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> are we? Are we keeping that? I am your payment <laughs> right okay um set in the house okay um but you start making your way down the stairs then the quickest route <laughs> yes okay uh marching order please enoch and umbra at the back lindac okay uh, so depending um, on how wide the space is gravel will be up with enoch okay i'll get to that in a second um, yeah second last all right so umbra fun enough with umbra because spoilers um because it is a nightmare um this flaming horse sheds bright light in a 10 foot radius and 10 light of, uh, and then dim light for an additional 10 so it's just a beacon of light just nice a fiery light but the horse is probably bigger than medium, right? It doesn't fit in the... Well, you're not taking the base, you're taking the stairs. Yeah, we're walking down the stairs. Oh. oh, oh. Uh, and it is a large you. creature, yes. Yeah. Horses are okay. large. Anyways, um, the tunnels are 10 feet tall and 15 feet wide. So Umbra is going to be a little claustrophobic in here yeah. let me just let me just make him wait i don't know but as you all descend into the mines 50 feet or so the quarter of these mines are open and covered with the same bluish white webs pickaxes and other tools lie abandoned nearby the mines are incredibly dark and you can see nearby oil lanterns hanging off the cave walls so covered in webs the flames have been smothered the tunnels mm -hmm. go straight ahead and directly behind for now. So yeah, Gravel, you can stand beside Enoch. Cool. Um, Sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm holding this stuff up, but is there any oil left in those oil lamps? 
Uh, you'd have to dig through the webs to get a good look. Use your torch. Burn your way through the web. Might burn, burn the oil. Well, just burn the web. <laughs> uh, I stand back. We'll try this out. And he'll like light it a bit, light the, some of the webbing okay. around it, and then kind of jump back as okay. his movement speed. <laughs> okay. So that cluster of webs just burns off, showing a single oil lantern with maybe about a few, about three or four inches of oil left in it. Mm. And I need everyone to make perception checks as soon as that happens. I had disadvantage. It's for hearing. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, oh, then Ooh, 12. <laughs> 12. Perception check for Umbra. Linda got 12 as well. It's a natural 20. Umbra oh, got a fucking natural 20. <laughs> wow. So 21 for Umbra. Okay. <laughs> My okay. luck from earlier ran out. Nat 1. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no. So, uh, in Umbra. <laughs> but Enoch, yeah. Enoch, what'd you get? Sorry. 13. 13. No, I'm sorry. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Yeah. Umbra got a natural 20. Uh, Linda, what'd 21. you get? Twelve as well. Twelve. Gravel got a nat one. <laughs> uh, Talinda. I got twenty-three. Twenty-three. So, as those webs burn, you watch as just <laughs> appearing on the walls where those webs were nearly are two of these large bluish white spiders. I need everyone to roll initiative. Gravel has surprise for this round, so he is surprised for this round. Ooh, damn. Ooh. Hence the perception check. Everybody else could sense, could like hear, kind of hear something starting to phase in, and that was the. I was too close to the, uh, too close to the, of yeah. the, <laughs> webbing. But yes, everyone roll initiative, including Umbra. If Umbra's fighting, that's another fucking natural. <laughs> For a, uh, I want the same thing too. So for a twenty-two for Umbra, okay. Yeah, twenty-two. All right, Talinder, what'd you get? I got uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three, Enoch. Uh, five. Oof, buddy. And these spiders are within ten feet. They're on the walls. Uh, Lindak. Seventeen. Gravel. Seventeen. Ooh. Okay. So, Talinder, you're up first. As these two face spiders just appear on the walls. Right where Gravel like lit the webs on fire. That was a good thing Gravel got back. They were right okay. there just waiting, just like being. Wait, sorry, they where, where did they go? They they're right by where the where that lantern is. Oh, yeah. so they're still there. Yeah, they're being. I thought you said they moved. No, nope, they were being sentries. So as soon as fresh meat wandered in, they appeared. Oh, I see. They're okay. on the ground. Nope, they're on the wall. They're on the walls. Okay, gotcha. I thought I within everyone's reach um do i know um uh spiders well enough to know if tasha's hideous laughter would affect them it's intelligence of four uh it depends on the spider depends on the spider mm -hmm. would would the the average spider would be too dumb the average spider might be too dumb okay um these okay are, these I'm... are phase spiders they are not average spiders. Would the average spider be dumb by like too dumb by like a lot? <laughs> I mean, it's a beast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what's the? Um, it's, it's, right, four, it's, four or lower, it's four or lower, right? For Thomas Hideous Laughter. It's four or lower okay. intelligence. You can certainly try. No, I won't. Not, okay. not yet. Okay. Um, I, I'll do. Um, I'm gonna do a vicious mockery on. Um, on just uh, whichever one, whichever one's closest to me, I guess. They're both kind of ego-distant. Okay, the left one. Why not? Okay. Cool. And um, yeah, I just I'll do like a kind of uh, like a very ominous like doom doom sort of like. Okay. Sound of my... You do the doom doom, and it just kind of makes this weird cacophonous <laughs> echo throughout the mines. Just yeah. Goo -goo and it almost looks like it's like reverberating off the webs. Just. Uh oh. So it's a save, right? 
Yeah, it's a wisdom 15. Four. Awesome. So it <laughs> it, uh, it takes five damage. Okay. And it uh, has disadvantage on its next uh, next attack. Alrighty. Anything else? Ooh, um. About ten feet back. I'm kind of about back ten up. feet. Okay, about ten feet back are the ramparts going up back to the top, uh, and then behind those ramparts, continue the tunnel to the south. And there's a tunnel to the north. No one was. No one was. No one is currently within melee of these spiders. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna back up just uh, to make sure that that's I'm. That's wrong. Actually. No. No. Yeah. No. Everyone's safe. I, I want to back up as much as I can. As long as I'm still within 60 feet of them and I can still see them. Okay, so you know what I mean? would you want to go up on the ramparts a bit or in that southern tunnel a bit where it's really dark? I'll, I'll go I'll go up on the ramparts. Okay, so you go up on the ramparts so you can still see them. So you're up on kind of like this uh, wooden slope. Yeah. And okay. you have daylight coming down where you're standing. Okay, that's fine. Um, and uh, I, I, will, I will do my... Um, Mantle of, called? Mantle of inspiration, okay. that thing. Yep. So everyone gets everyone yeah. gets temp HP. So everyone gets yeah, everyone gets the eight temporary hit points. And can move right now. I can't and, and, because yes. I don't have a reaction. Correct. So if you're using your reaction, you can move up to your movement speed should you choose. Gravel is just like <laughs> surprise. Kind of like rubbing my eyes still. Man, that was actually pretty bright. And then you open oh, oh, oh. as Enoch runs <laughs> yeah. runs up. <laughs> To get right by gravel. Okay. Uh, cool. Like up to the su- up towards the two face fighters. Yeah. Okay, right up into melee with them, and then you can see them in your mind's eye, very daredevil style. As they're clicking their mandibles, just like these big, like bluish, white, creepy-looking spiders. Gross. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I will just so everyone's kind of in the same book. That's a face spider. Oh, very creepy. Very pretty. They're they're pretty looking, but yeah. Uh, so that's anything else, Slender? Oh, and is Lendak moving as well? How far apart are these two spiders? Like they're they're like touching five feet. Oh, yeah. So it's five foot gap in between them. Or? Yeah. And basically now Lindak is standing 10 feet away from me. Yep. Okay. Um, Lindak's going to um, uh, back up another 10 feet. Uh, you can back up another f- 5 feet and bump into the adjacent wall unless you're bumping, or unless you're going backwards 5 feet down the tunnel. Or 5 feet up the tunnel. Or ten feet down the tunnel, ten feet up the tunnel, but five feet back would put you into the wall. Okay, I'll be up against the wall. That's fine. Okay. Yep. That's five that's, feet that's movement. Fine. All right. Great. That's everyone. So that puts me fifteen feet away from. You. Yeah, because you're on the other side of the wall. Perfect. That's good. All righty. That's everyone that can take reactions. Reactions. All right. That'll bring us to the face spider that got hit by vicious mockery. It's gonna. Jump onto the floor and scurry. At his, yeah, not, it doesn't need to jump on the floor. It's just going to attack Enoch from the wall with a bite oh. attack. And because he's technically no longer blinded, just a straight attack roll for a twelve to hit, though. When, he still has the disadvantage, though, doesn't he? Yeah. No. Oh. No. No. Uh, and then bonus action two. Just disappear. Damn it. Uh, that brings it to Umbra, though. Okay. Um... So since Umbra wasn't commanded last turn, Umbra attacks the nearest hostile creature. Ooh, then he's gonna... If he could charge up and go for... Yeah. Um, yeah, he's gonna go for the spider that is there. So we just... And is it like as Uma Do you rear kick into the ceiling? <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah. Just rears up with these two flaming hooves and brings him down on the spider. Yeah, roll it. 
here does do 20. Oh, shit. Um, 18? 18 hits. Yeah, roll damage. Oh, fuck. Okay, so... Yeah, 2d8 plus 4, bludgeoning, and 2d6 fire. What? Goddamn. This is not also not, like, Umbra just isn't here permanently. Umbra has to be called. Yes. Um, I don't know why I went like this, called. (laughs) Uh, So, 19 total. 19 total. All right, nice. That spider went from looking perfectly fine to not so great. Just <clears throat> as this uh, nightmare just slams into the spider, kind of like job. singeing off some of the spider's like little coarse leg hairs. Just nasty. All right, and then Uber is just gonna get ready there, looking okay. scary as fuck. Yeah, that'll bring it to the face spider who just got attacked. Who's going to attack Umbra? Nope. <laughs> but, uh, Six to hit. No. Uh, gravel has is gets skipped because of uh, surprise. So gravel like finishes rubbing his eyes and yeah. sees the face spiders, yeah. and yeah. I hear a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> and that'll bring us to Lindag, who's fifteen feet away. Yeah, manifest echo close. Uh, well, they're not together anymore, are they? They are still together on the wall. Yeah. But one of them. Okay, right in there. between them. But oh yeah, one of them. The... Yeah, one of them's missing. Yeah. One of them's missing. Yeah. Which one? Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, uh, the one that was on the left went, just disappeared. So the one that uh, Talindra attacked. And her... yeah. Okay. Um, um, the echo is going to attack. Um. Long sword, uh, fifteen to hit. Uh, fifteen hits, yeah. Your echo just slashes into this big old blue spider. Uh, seven points of damage. Okay, that spider's looking real bad now. And one more attack with the sword. Oh, that rolled in that one. That's no good. Okay, it kind of just uses one of its long legs and just. Knocked his sword out of the way. Well, okay. phases through it. Just okay, that's, um, that's, that's my turn. Okay, Enoch, you were up on position with these two spiders. One of them just, you, can, you, 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 hear, you heard it go. So it just vanished from my yeah. sight. So you can only okay, see the cool. one. Yeah. He's going to step up and bring the long sword down. At them. Nice. The one he could see. Let's see. Oh, that's a twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two plus hits. Six. Yeah. Um. Oh, eight. Eight slashing damage. How do you want to take over this space spider? Um, he wants to, as the spider's like on the wall, right? Yeah. He's going to carve the legs. Uh, the bottom, the legs that are like keeping it from falling on the floor, like on the lower, closest to the floor, make yeah. those fall. Um, and then as it hits the ground, he's going to bring the tip of the blade down into the face of the spider okay. and that, twist. Cool. That's how that word like, <clears throat> and it just starts like bleeding out this thick green Icarus blood. <gasps> Where's the other one? And he's going to like turn where he saw it last. So he's going to look or try to look keep aware okay bringing us back to the top with talindra you cannot see the other spider so i can't see the other spider you cannot um and there's only there was only two of them correct yep okay did i when i saw it disappear did it look like what i'd seen previously for like i don't know if i've seen anything turn invisible or if i'd seen anything trans transport before but did it look did i get any sense of like which it was uh definitely not going invisible okay all right um can i hold my turn until i can see it yeah well you can i hold my hold a vicious mockery until i can see it yeah totally and i'll um inspire uh uh, oh gosh i don't know who's going to be closest to it (laughs) yeah yeah 
I, um, I'm going to inspire uh, Lindak. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else? Staying up on that rampart? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saving. I'm just waiting. Okay. You guys all hear a as a spider appears behind gravel and makes a bite attack against gravel. <clears throat> you are no longer surprised. So I'm rolling like shit for these guys. That's a nine to hit. And like you're still surprised. At, like hey, where? What are you guys fighting? And out of nowhere, you just hear a behind you, and you feel the spider's like mandibles trying to pierce through your clothes, but it's not. So it's kind of just like. Rumping against like big old spider legs across your face and head. Uh, that's its turn because it uses the bonus action to reappear. So it's Umbra's turn. Kind of whinny, and then go toward the uh, other one. Okay. Let's see there. It's. I was just like, ah, uh, you gonna step on me? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um, a twelve to hit. Uh, 12 does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. It kind of, like, bats the hooves away with its mandibles. It's just trying to, like, get gravel in its mouth, trying to, like, bite gravel. It's a very Shelob's Lair moment with this face spider trying to just, like, mess with gravel. Uh, anything else for Umbra? That is going to be it. All right. Gravel, it's your turn. Uh, neat. Short sword. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. All right. That is a fourteen to hit. Fourteen does hit as you you just pierce it through its like abdomen, its big old belly abdomen flopping around. Awesome, and that is sneak attack, correct? Because there's someone within range. Uh, someone's just... within melee range, so I get sneak attack. Yes. Ally. Yeah. Okay. How far back did you... Oh, yeah, you wouldn't have had a rea reaction, so yes, there is someone within five feet. Okay. Cool. That'd be Lindak. All right, so that is... Ooh, eight plus six, 14, plus four is 18, plus another d6, plus three, so 21 points of piercing damage. All right, you skewer this thing in the abdomen and all this green Icarus blood just pours out all over your hands, your sword, your arms, and it goes from being extremely uh, healthy to extremely not healthy. It's kind of like starting to like have sluggish movements and everything. He'll pull it out. Ugh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and then he's going to uh uh bonus action uh disengage okay and do kind of like a so he'll like pull the sword out and then do like a feigning swipe and use that as his disengage okay. to like spin away Alrighty. um lindak Okay. I am going to attack that one myself. It's right there, right? Yeah, it's you right there. It's five yeah. feet. Yeah. Okay, so. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, to 12 hit. 12 misses. It's kind of like the sword kind of just bounces uh, off. And a 12 again. I guess you missed twice. Both twice twice twice. Just, just bounce off its knobbly like, leg joints. <laughs> okay. It's so, it's so rickety on its legs now that it's just like impossible <laughs> to read. <laughs> so and then like, oh. I, uh, as a, a bonus action, I will teleport and swap places with okay. my echo. That'll bring us to Enoch. I realize I I never did my um, oh, vicious correct. mockery. Do can it. I do yeah. that quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do the same kind of echoey, like ominous so noise say... I did before. It's a wisdom fifteen. Eight. Eight. Okay. That's a five. Five damage. Oh, still standing. <laughs> okay. Barely. <laughs> I helped. Barely with one hit point. <laughs> it does have disadvantage on its next attack. 
Uh, but yeah, it brings it to Enoch. Enoch, you hear the from the violin, and it kind of you hear the spider go, and it's ten feet away from you. Close in the gap. Okay. And going to take another swing. Okay. With the long sword. It looks oh, like that's it, a natural seventeen, so a twenty-three to hit. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's on death's door with one hit point. So how do you want to kill this one? Um, as uh. Gravel runs off. Enoch uses that momentary distraction as it comes to look back. Uh, he's going to drive the sword just straight through the nice little mandibles. He's going uh, hilt, pretty much hilt deep, just as far okay. as he can go in through the mouth of the spider, just through nice. the body. You kind of just, and yeah, you slice just, up. And you just skewer it on the end, and then you just <laughs> you, you, you're like you nearly bisect the spiders it kind of opens up like it's been butterflied like a chicken breast and just falls to the ground all of its insides just spilling out onto the floor like a carpet of filth good job umbro he's gonna pat umbro and then wipe the sword from on on his like pant leg the guts gravel's okay. gonna gravel's gonna grab the oil put his boot on the dead uh, spider and yank off a leg <laughs> and just start roasting it over his torch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I kind of want to look at the look at the, the what's left over of these spiders and see if anything seems like it could uh, have any kind of magical properties that might be worth something. Uh, Enoch, Enoch wants one of the if they have a fang or they have I can do yeah. arcana or something. Yeah, yeah give me our give me arcana off. check. Yeah. He's gonna actually he'll collect both of them, like the both because they're gonna have essentially where they inject. So yeah, the two yeah, things he's gonna try big. to yeah. So you can just like I roll a ten. A ten. Uh, unfortunately, you don't really find anything oh. sitting through its parts. That actually gives okay. me an idea. Um, do, is the other body in a fair enough state to actually? Uh, inspect to to see to have a extract a poison gland. It looks like it. Gravel might try to do that. Okay, survival check. Okay. Natural twenty. Right. Yes. You <laughs> nice. kind of like, kind of like you kind of like get your fingers very niftily up in between where the fangs kind of pop out. You kind of reach in. You, Pull, you kind of like reach under the fang as Enoch's kind of like prying them out and you before the those venom sacs are about to just like spill out you catch it tie a quick knot in the venom sack yeah I got a piece of twine yep and you have one face spider venom sack okay oh. uh, this could be useful <laughs> breaks it off drink it <laughs> take a shot <laughs> venom wouldn't do it right it has to be well i is, guess it, it's a i don't know between... i don't know because, because yeah poison uh, poisonous is ingestion yeah. venomous Venom, is yeah. injection yeah bloodstream so you can actually like drink like rattlesnake po uh, venom and it wouldn't unless you've got ulcers <laughs> oh i for sure do yeah you guys has dispatched the two face spider centers. Mm. You know, did you just take a few of the legs? Did I see that right? Oh, I took the oh. fangs. I'm gonna proof, proof for what's down here. And he's gonna go to the other one, the yeah, the other one. And he's gonna rip both of them off. So he has four. Okay. He's gonna try to get. So we should have four That's fangs. Good. So two sets. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to look around to see if there's any sign of um, like an egg sack or anything. Like if these were the babies or if these uh, were the... Okay. Not in this area. You don't see any sign of egg sacs. Do I get any sense from what I know about spiders that um, like what, of kind of like the age of these spiders? Uh, if these were like Probably you know, full grown. Or... Like probably full grown. Full, full grown. Adults, yeah. Oh. That went rather well, I think. We're alive. Um, 
Yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, I probably would have been dead from that if it wasn't for you guys. That was, uh, yeah, caught me on my heels there. Well, it happens. Shall we continue or? Absolutely. Let's go. Northern. And you said the tunnel goes. So the tunnel. So we lower down, and there's yeah, a tunnel goes that goes north into the south, so ahead and behind the ramparts. And we started coming, and we're still in the. You're still ramparts in ramparts like, area. Yeah, you're still like in near the ramparts. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um. He's gonna attempt to. Uh, he's gonna attempt to investigate the southern. Okay. Southern area. All right. You start making your way a little bit down the southern area, not far enough away to like abandon everybody. Um, but through your like cool new vision, more webs drape from the ceiling of this tunnel like macabre curtains, and tiny little blue and white spiders, like pinprick size, real small. Kind of like if you ever watch those videos on the internet where like a spider is like stepped on, and all these little baby spiders just kind of break out of it and go. It's kind of like that. <laughs> They're that small. They're not of any consequence. Um, and they scurry through the webs and hide in crevices in the rock wall as you move past. Uh, further down the corridor, you can see what looks like an open chamber with cocoons hanging from the ceiling. And the sound of a muffled voice just... Mm-hmm. And only you hear oh, that, here. Enoch. Which way it's coming from? Only Enoch hears it when he goes to check out the southern tunnel. Gotcha. I take I technically Enoch doesn't see the cocoons though. He just hears the mumbling. Yeah, you hear the mumbling. Unless, you, don't, you don't see the cocoons. Okay. Yeah. Guys. Guys. Mm. What's up? I hear something. Which Come direction? Here. Come here. Mm. It's the south tunnel. Yeah, gravel's gonna Come go. here. Follow. Okay. So as you all make your way to where Enoch is, you do see those tiny spiders scurrying through the webs and hiding in crevices. Um, at the end of this corridor, you see an open chamber with cocoons hanging from the ceiling and the sound of a muffled voice coming from one of these cocoons. And large rocks are scattered across the chambers and the webs entirely coat the walls. We can all hear the, the At this point, voice it, you all can hear the... It's very muffled. And Dax Echo is actually still with them. Mm-hmm. He's actually with them. They're together, walking side by side. Nice. Um, Go up to the guy, I guess. On. Hold on. Um, watch out for the webs. Try not to touch them. Okay. Right. Right. Gravel would know that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Sorry. I I assumed. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's pretty common knowledge that spiders sense through their webs anyway, so. Yeah, we fought spiders before, too. So. At the entrance, he's going to look to Umbra. Stay. Not for these now. spiders. Umbra just stays Come foot. F- okay. Come to me. <laughs> no. If I need help. He's going to back, back up to Umbra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... He's gonna wait for the others. Okay. Yeah, go up to him. Does it? Does it look? Is there a path to this guy without stepping on webs, or is everything covered in webs? Uh, the floor is clear. Okay. It's just the walls. Um, but yeah, there's rocks all over this chamber, like big rocks. Uh, and the cocoon where this muffled voice is coming from is about six feet long. So it's, it's so the ceilings are ten feet high. So it's a six foot long cocoon. So there's maybe about four feet of difference underneath the cocoon to the floor. These rocks. Yeah. You said they're really big. Yeah, they're kind of like maybe like ten feet around. In the it looks like they were in they're in the process of being like ting 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 oh, okay. mind away. Um. So we better see if we can see who this is. Okay. Marvel's gonna look around. See if he can see any more of those things. Perception check. 
so it's with disadvantage. Oh, okay. Oh, because you guys have light sources, though, it's not. Okay. All one. Oh. I wish that counted. <laughs> yeah, I wish that counted. Um, 11. Nope. I think we're I think we're clear. I don't see any of them. Um, he's going to as hey Gravel, do you need do you need a boost? Can can to cut them down? Yeah, sure. You have a uh, as you as you drop it or cut it, I'll catch it. Yeah, so it doesn't hit the ground. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna lift Gravel and put him on his shoulders. And you, hear, yeah, you, can, you can still hear like the mumbling from inside the cocoon, like mm, mm. Yeah, Gravel's gonna not take his uh, not take the weapon he attacks with, but he's gonna take one of his daggers mm -hmm. and kind of like try and find the right spot to at least like mm. he thinks better of actually um, letting this guy speak because <laughs> okay. he might shout. Um, so you see him like go to like cut open it where, where his head would be and he kind of thinks better of it and then just, uh, puts the dagger on like, let's say it's a guy wrapped up like this. He puts the dagger on this behind his head or, you know, is moving it behind his head and then just doing a drag on the way down. So he kind of like. He's standing on top of like Enoch's shoulder or something, mm -hmm. and then he jumps down in like a like a pirate going down okay. a sail. All right, um, so this guy just flops out. He flops out upside down. His feet were up towards the ceiling, and his head was. Up oh, okay. Up. He kind of just well, like, Enoch was underneath yeah, the cocoon too. He was expecting the cocoon to drop, so he's like, "Ooh!" Yeah. All right, you catch a muscular looking drow with a noticeable white scruff red eyes and shoulder length wavy white hair shaved on the sides he's like oh thank you and he starts to like dust the webs off and like get rid of your arms he's like oh he looks at you all uh thanks what's your name uh, i'm the foreman of the mines <gasps> Oh, we oh. could leave. We found him. Um, uh, are you here to rescue people? Rescue us? Well, we were told by the queen to yeah. figure out what happened here, uh, I believe. Yeah. He starts like moving to unravel the other cocoons. Where you can see where other miners have been snared, like a mix of hobgoblins and drowders. Drowders? Drow? <laughs> uh, other drow? Thank you. Uh... Yeah, our camp was overrun by these blue spiders and people draped in robes and iron masks. The masks resembled spiders. Uh, I'll be taking our, the surviving workers here. These are this is this is all we have left out of the mine. Um, but there's something in this mine that needs to be dealt with. Otherwise, it's just going to keep doing what it's doing. It's going to keep taking people and taking them deep uh, i have an idea I have an idea lindak could you contact your friend with your stone um yes i can let tell him tell him that we're here and if there's a way that he can contact i queen i don't bigger city want to uh, this is something that needs to be oh. dealt with now. Oh. From what I've overheard, they're planning on taking whatever this thing is. They've been dragging my miners to through these tunnels into the capital this evening. All right. This, evening. Is, an, this is an investigation, but turns out it's turning into a recon. I'll pay you all handsomely, should you agree to help. Um... Whatever gems and riches you can find down here, they're yours. We have no need for them. We prefer the ore so we can make the machinery and pay the uh, pay the workers. Does he look alright? Like does he look like are there He's are got like you, he's got like a spider bite on him. Uh, and you can see he's like a little ill looking. 
So imagine like, it's pretty gruesome. Like those things are like finger sized. Like you know, it's gonna like kind of. It kind of looks like he's just kind of getting out of being paralyzed. Okay, um, he'll go ahead and put his hands on the drow shoulder and give him two lay on hands. Just two healing, just two HP, oh. just in case. Thank you. Um, Can I uh, cast restoration, less or restoration on him? Get rid of this poison. Uh, you get a sense. Or? You get the sense if he's limbering up, the poison's wearing off. So it would just be. Yeah, yeah, I'll just leave him. Yeah, that poison is paralysis while you're poisoned. So he's waking out of that. So he's no longer under the effects of that poison. Justin. Yeah. Oh, when he mentioned the um, masks, is that like, is that my cousin? <laughs> is that my cousin's uh, thing? Is that it a... sounds, it sounds similar to the Children of Malice. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! I didn't even put that together. <sighs> but they've been taking people from all over the other settlements nearby as well uh, to feed something. That's why the spiders are bringing us down here, paralyzed, not as food, like dead. Apparently whatever they were feeding my workers to, it likes to eat fresh meat. Um, I don't know what it is, but all I heard was moaning and laughter. Um, hey, um. And I think some of my end about 20 minutes ago, there were two workers that were dragged in there, but I don't know what happened. How do you, um, how do you do a lot of deep digging here? Picks. Uh, any charges? Uh, we tend not to. to we, we try not to. We don't want to disable any rock and have this place come tumbling down. It's just picks. How deep you dig here? Not deep at all. Uh, we go about maybe the deepest we oh. went is uh, the Eastern Tunnel. Um, and we went about the usual depth, about 100 feet down from where we are now. So 150 feet total in depth. Mm. Um But my worker said they saw something moving down there at that depth. Uh, after digging out a tunnel, they saw another tunnel that we weren't digging. Um, and I guess that's where these things came from, is when we opened up that tunnel. Mm. Uh, anything against us collapsing that tunnel? If you can find a way to do it, no. Okay. Just wondering what our options are, just I, in case. I would just suggest being careful, because just in case the entire place could collapse that tunnel. We haven't had the time to put up support beams yet. Mm. Good to know. Okay, you when you leave, there's a horse that's on fire. Just don't be alarmed. Okay. Awesome. Um, but yes, uh, I can't offer gold or anything at the moment, but uh, whatever... We found a lot of rare gems in our digging down here. Uh, whatever you find along the way, feel free to take them as your own, as your payment. It's the best I can offer. You don't have any information about um, this creature at all? all? All I know is that my workers were being dragged down to the northern tunnel. Uh, down this tunnel, he kind of points to the north, towards the north. Uh, you'll find an open chamber where most of our current mining was being done. We're kind of picking up the pieces from the former foreman. Um, Interesting. There's a tunnel. So said... There's a tunnel north of that open chamber that sloped that we'd use for like runoff, clean water from the deep river, um, and that's where this gurgling laughter and crying is coming from. Um, that's only been recent. I've only been hearing it in my cocoon for the last couple of days. Well, how long were you up there? <sighs> What's today? 
and you would all know. Uh, you would all know. Tell them what day it is. You would all know <laughs> it is the. Let me pull it up here because I have it on the campaign page, so y'all can. It's twenty twenty, bitch. Yeah, it's uh, the twelfth of Brucender. Twelfth <laughs> of Brucender. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I've been down here since the sixth. So Ooh. almost a week. Ooh, close to a week. That's awful. So that it, so it happened it three be days hungry. before we got here, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. It took us three days to get here. So um. So about three days. Enoch before. passes him some rations. Or sorry, Lin. <laughs> forget my own name. Good gravy. Lindak passes him some rations. He's been oh. down here a week. Probably hasn't eaten. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the uh, people in the robes have been taking all of our supplies as well from the camp. So um, let me get this straight. You were digging in the east tunnel. Correct. And we but, dug into but, another tunnel that wasn't there before. Okay, but your workers are being drugged to this northern tunnel. Correct. So whatever the thing they're being fed to, what I assume they're being fed to is, was pulled through that eastern tunnel we breached. Mm. But I haven't heard mm. much since I've been in my cocoon. People, the people don't come into this chamber. Only the spiders do and drag off my workers. Well, I, I guess if you have an, uh, anything else uh, useful to tell us, you should probably get going soon. And maybe That's... they could be back any time. That's all I know. All right. Um, yeah, any gems you find are yours, I guess. Uh, hey, guys. And, he's, and he scurries off. He like help help. Well, not, he doesn't run ditch. He like helps the others that are still kind of waking up out of their like paralysis. He's dragging them along. You see like miners of all sorts of ages. You see hobgoblins. You even see some children that have been captured. He's dragging them all out. Like this way, this way. Quick as you can. All right, guys. What do you make of this? Pretty good, right? Um, I think regardless of what we decide, I think it's a good idea for Lindak to contact um, his his person in in um, in Rosana to try to get information there. Because regardless of what we decide, there might be an attack coming. I think we need more information before we tell them anything because if we tell them oh we heard some vague notion of something then they're gonna laugh at us we gotta give them solid like intel well if we told them we found the person they were looking for and that he said there was an attack on their city i think they would want to know that yeah they want to prepare fought the spiders but we I'm, know saying, I'm saying we still got some time left in the day and maybe we can Find Just something out before, before I, uh, we use that. I All kind right. of agree with Gravel, but only because I can only contact him once per day. Like I right. can't contact him again till the next dawn. So now, as much info as we can get. Now All right, I well, let's. Do, I now I do see the wisdom tell in letting them know right away. Absolutely. Because uh, I mean, who knows where we're gonna end up. Maybe well, I, I think be rescued, um, so. mm -hmm. I, I, I agree with you that it would be good to have more information. I, I think we should try to be at least somewhat hasty in, in getting that information to them. But mm -hmm. absolutely, we should find whatever we can. Lindak, you, if things turn south for us, you ensure that they get a message. Don't worry yeah. about fighting. If Just get a message back to the city warn them we can handle we'll keep you guarded just ensure that if things don't go the way we want them to go that the message gets received i'll do my best oh the other um the other bit of information as to where we go first um i personally don't want to get attacked from the back um, but it seems like we should probably go the northern route first. Take care of what's going on there. And then investigate where it came from in the eastern path. Could do that. 
or do we want to find we more information? Do... It, it seems to be in the north, correct? So do we yeah. want to find information first, or do we want to do that? Again, that after. either way, there's a chance we'll be flanked, no matter which That's decision true. we do. Um, but those seem to be our two choices, east or north. North is uh, a chamber that's just a part of this mine. East, who knows what. If I can give my vote, I, I think it would be good to go east, find out the information we can, and then get information to Rosanna as close as soon as we can with as much information as we have, and then to try to deal with it. It's good thinking, though. I am kind of worried that if we go east first, whatever's in this north path might go up and finish off the miners while we're down investigating. Hmm. What do you think, Lindak? You've got a, you've got a strategical torn. mind. <laughs> I'm torn. Should we head to the east and see if we can stop more from coming through, or do we go to the north and try and stop what's already here? I'm having a tough one on this one. What do you think, Enoch? If we use. If we go to the east, we can try to, I don't know. I don't know if others are coming from that direction as well. So I was going to suggest maybe we can try to capture something or someone uh, that can give us information, maybe, um, or a way of presenting it to the, the queen or do we just go to remove whatever problem or entity exists here? I mean, if we, it's gonna be a, an issue with either choice that we make. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, if we pick the right one, they said there were people or people shaped things I can set up a tripwire that could make some noise that might alert us if mm. we're about to be flanked through one of the other tunnels. That would certainly be helpful. Uh, unless, yeah. unless one of you also has something that could, uh, that might be useful as well. Uh, that's what I have to offer. Um. I. The only thing I th can think that might be useful is that I could, I do have, like I said, uh, something that can create a force wave. So if we need to just drop the, you know, completely collapse the tunnel or something like that, I might be able to do that. But that's the only thing I can think of hmm. that would be helpful. That's, we th could, that's, thunder, we... that's thunder wave, correct? Yeah, that would do it, right? <laughs> we we certainly would. try. <laughs> Uh, Enoch's going to dig in his bag and pull out his crampons. crampons. We could set traps under the dirt. So if people mm -hmm. step on these, they like hurt themselves. Yeah. You can hear them yell. Just layer it on with a little dirt so it steps down. This is a dirt floor, correct? Like, uh, there's area. patches. Most of it is rock, but there are patches of dirt. Yeah. Okay. Mostly dust. Well, here I'm gonna set up this guy right here, and he goes and starts to set up a, a trip wire. Across. So, wh where are you setting this up? Like, where are you? Were you walking and talking? Or are you still in this cocoon chamber? Uh. I think we, we've moved. We, we haven't decided where to go. To your soul yeah. the cocoon chamber. Yeah. So I can put a a trip wire on the eastern um, tunnel. So we're going north. Uh, again, that's up to you, 
I thought uh, if I can do the other tunnel as well, but again, I'm a little concerned about the miners uh, while we're out. Because if that if that uh, if that eastern tunnel ends up going much deeper, I mean, it is a hundred feet down. We might not even hear my alarm bell go off. It's a good point. Then we could set these crampons or crampons down and has like a secondary just in case maybe slow them down maybe yeah, you go in a slight ways set those up come out we set the trip wire yeah because once that wire goes off they're gonna hear it too so they'll probably be on alert or maybe they start running and if like to catch us or go backwards or yeah, go backwards we'll just, put, we'll just put some on either end this will be this will make sure that we don't get snuck up on. So if we yeah. are creating, I don't care if they run back, whatever. All right. Who knows? We might even see them while we're setting up these traps. So <laughs> this could be for nothing. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go to that eastern path and set this up. Okay. And head north. So you're all heading down the corridor to the north to get to the central chamber that pivots to the north and east. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't take long. Um, so proceeding towards the northern, down the northern tunnel, you come to a large open chamber where most of the recent mining work seems to have taken place. More tools have been scattered about like work was halted almost without warning. Crates lie abandoned and filled with minerals, ores, and gems. The walls aren't as aligned with webs in here as the previous tunnel. Uh, there's a nearby mine cart on a winding track that descends into a sloped tunnel. The cart is empty. On the east wall is another tunnel that stretches deeper into darkness. I need those of you without passive perception of 16 to give me perception checks right now. Cool. I have 16. Woo. So I think that's everybody else. I, I have a pretty high pers per oh. I just wait, I'm trying to remember where that is. <laughs> oh, it's four, only 14. Okay. We have 15. Yep. Everybody but gravel. Perception? Is this with disadvantage? Oh wait, Gravel, what's your passive perception? Sixteen. Okay, yeah, everybody. No, uh, this is this is no. Nope. Everyone roll perception checks except for Gravel. <coughs> I rolled sixteen. Okay. I rolled the wrong thing. Sorry, one moment. <laughs> I rolled performance instead. <laughs> I was like, it's twenty. Uh, it's a six. Six. Okay. So 16, 16, because Gravel's passive. Enoch, what'd you get? 12. 12. Lindak and Gravel, you hear... <laughs> Coming from the sloped tunnel. I would like to... Sneak. Get a tell everyone to shush and get some intel on whatever that is. All right, everyone make stealth checks. Oh, really? Or or just Are gravel if, gra oh, if gravel. Yeah, yeah just gravel. Because oh, you're all in the central. Because you're all in the central chamber. Can I just freeze without? Yeah, you can just. It is not move. Because I have disadvantage on plus zero yeah. on stealth. Anyone like who's not going down the northern chamber doesn't have to stealth. I'm just going to freeze if they're going to sneak. Okay. It's a 25. Okay. You start making your way down that sloped tunnel. Are you taking the mine cart? <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not yet. All right. So you're, going, you're heading down the, just by yourself on the sloped tunnel? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on. Proceeding down the sloped tunnel... That gurgling and groaning just starts to fill the air. This <laughs> it sounds like a sort of sorrowful moans and a mixture of gasping for air and then just <laughs> squelching noises. Um, surprisingly, unlike the rest of the tunnels you've encountered, this one is completely bare and clear of webs, but is just as dark and dank. And you're still moving down the tunnel. Okay. Would you're you about, say that this is rocky terrain? It is, yeah. It's a mine. Cool. Yeah. So you're I about... Have... You, have to, you have advantage, yeah. Uh, so you're about... 
At this point, you'd be about 150 feet down this tunnel. Okay. Keep going? Yeah. Okay. After about... Since you're going at a slow pace, you're stealthing. After about five minutes of walking down this tunnel, uh, you come to, to what looks like a chamber with a pool of water in the center of the chamber, surrounded by large, jagged rocks. The room reeks of death, decay, and mildew, with a slight tinge of blood in the air. The walls are glistening, where runoff moisture seeps down into that pool of water, where that gurgling, moaning sound is coming from. Mining equipment lies abandoned all over the floor of this cave. The chamber is 60 feet wide and and long and 20 feet tall. And no more tunnels, just this chamber where that moaning and gurgling sound is coming from that pool of water. Is it coming from under the water? It seems like it. Okay. Can I see into the water? You'd have to get very close to look into the water. You can't What's see the lighting it. situation. It's dark in here. Pitch black. Okay. I should have said obvious obviously I left my torch with one of them. I figured I doing this. Yeah. Alright. Um Mm. Yeah, I guess he's gonna get a little closer. Well, first, let's do a look. Let's do a look scan to see if there are any other enemies or uh, perception check with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, that is two seventeens. Cool. <laughs> no, nope, nothing. Two. Well, two seventeen. Yeah, you don't. Plus, you don't detect anything. Plus six. Yeah. So Twenty three. Yeah, you don't detect anything. Okay. Yeah, then I guess I'll see if I can see what's in the water. How close do you want to get to the pool of water? Only close enough to see something. Okay. Okay, if I get if I get within Okay, so here's the edge. Yeah. Right? Here's the edge. I don't want to get within five feet of the edge. If I okay. don't see anything like five feet away. You get uh once you get within fifteen feet of the pool. Mm-hmm. You do feel, you do see like a, sh- like a little bit of movement in the water. Mm-hmm. Like something's about to come out of the water. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. And yeah. as you're like backing up, I'll say what you see as it rises up from the pool. The gurgling, moaning entity rises up from the pool. It is a tangled mess of humanoid corpses. The corpses are a collection of drow and hobgoblin and almost seem to be in the process of being of melding and fusing together into one amorphous shape. Between the bodies is glistening black chitinous skin covered in layers of thick, coarse black hair. This abomination pulls itself up from the pool, and you can see that some of the corpses have fused into eight large legs. And this creature hoists itself up on that, and these legs end in strange humanoid hands with jagged, sickle-like claws, and under the creature's form is a collection of pulsating, white and blue, slime-covered, and thickly veined egg sacs that are almost growing out from the body of the creature like a series of tumorous growths. In the center of this creature is a gaping maw, similar to a spider, but not filled with teeth, but with 30 or so humanoid tongues grasping and feeling at the air, like tasting it. And as it fully emerges from the pool, all of the corpses that make up this creature's form begin to wail and scream and moan and let out this unearthly cacophony of horror as it crawls much like a spider out of the pool of water. Cool. How big was the tunnel I walked down? Uh, came here from? Big enough to accommodate it. Okay. <laughs> and it's just currently like looking around with all these like drow. You can see all of like the figures like the drow heads and the hobgoblin heads all of their eyes are looking around okay so it's not just it's not using one set it's using like 20 different sets of eyes to look around yeah he's he's getting out of there okay uh and that is a oh boy uh that is a for perception check Nah, that's only Thirteen. So you get back into the you spend you 
eventually you know there's five minutes pass and while this is happening because you're, you're i imagine you're being quiet going back um well gravel's gone what are you all doing hey do you think gravel is all right i haven't heard any screaming yet but I still really. hear that. You still hear the gurgling like that. It's getting, it got louder all of a sudden. I'm thinking of when it came out of the water. That wouldn't have happened yet. Okay. Uh, one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> um, and he holds up his finger. <laughs> moving his hand along the wall. Um, where are you going? He's what, 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 where are you back going? toward Umbra. Okay. Um, <laughs> he just runs full speed. I'm coming, Gravel. I'm coming. Uh, no, he's going to make his way back in. Okay. Let's go. Cool. Um, well, the two of you are in this chamber alone. Now. And he's he's going to hold his like cloak mm-hmm. around in a way that will shield <laughs> Umbra's light. Fire. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, While well, the two of you are alone in this chamber right now, um, coming from the eastern tunnel, um, you can hear voices and footsteps approaching from the eastern tunnel. And Lindak and Talindra, you do not understand a word they are saying. It's in a language neither of you know. Justin, I was going to say it before, um, but I seeing as the current developments i wanted to make sure that you knew i wasn't metagaming but i was going to put start on my way back i'm placing those oil lanterns i have three of them okay. in total plus mm-hmm. the one or i have two plus the one that i just got and i'm placing them uh, on the way back as i'm returning to them okay so yeah it's it you, that way as you're doing that you can see that creature is starting to make its way down the tunnel following okay. so as you as you, it's like maybe only like 30 feet back but it hasn't detected you it's just like oh and it's okay. like it's well, like these i put it's like the hands are kind of like gripping onto the rock because it doesn't have like spider legs and spider legs and in hands that are just like pulling itself along so if I, if I put one down and it catches up to it i'm not going to put the rest down okay because <laughs> i because yeah i can't attack it yet so <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the other two. Okay. But yeah, uh, Linda, can, you can hear voices coming from the Eastern Tunnel, but you cannot understand the language they are speaking. I want to mm-hmm. cast tongues on myself. Nice. Uh, does that, is that a chosen language or is it all languages? It's any language. Okay. You are in the middle of this open chamber. Are you guys going to like hide behind like crazy? Yeah, is there something? like a place place to hide there's crates there's like rocks carefully there's trained. the there's the mine cart yeah there's big rocks you can hide behind uh any uh, yeah i'll try to hide behind um i don't know behind a mine cart i guess but wherever yeah. Yeah. it I mean, is far from where they're coming from okay i need you both to give me stealth checks Ugh. this is a big chamber so oh 16 um i rolled a 16 Oh, yeah, right. Disadvantage. Oh, that was a 15, so 50. Okay. Um, as you hide, um, you can see the familiar shapes of what look like no, uh, two uh, small dwarf-sized individuals in purple and black robes with spider-like metal masks and three... Uh, elf-sized individuals with same robes, same masks. And uh, as they enter the cavern, you do hear, they, they eventually do get into the cavern at this point. And just to iterate, uh, this chamber is 40 feet high, 50 feet wide. Uh, and as these individuals enter the chamber, Talindra, because you cast tongues, you hear the speaking as such. We gotta stop feeding the miners to that abomination. Zinn wanted us to only take enough not to arouse suspicion. And the patrol enters the chamber. You can actually see where the robes are covering skin. Uh, two dwarves with ashen gray skin and three drow. Um, they're wearing flowing robes of black and purple and wearing purple masks, the very spider-like shape formed into the jagged metal. Um, 
They have, the dwarves have jagged looking pickaxes strapped to their sides and a cluster of javelins on their back. The drow are wielding crossbows and short swords. And one of the drow kind of just <laughs> laughs and takes a squig from a water skin. It's what they deserve for abandoning our mistress. And they kind of just like stop, they look like they're taking a break in this chamber just to drink. Um. And those voices do carry. So Enoch at this point would hear them, and Gravel, as Gravel's making his way up the slope tunnel, would hear those voices as well in the central chamber. So if you're going to try to hide from these individuals, I need a separate stealth check. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be doing that. And Gravel, uh, as you get closer, you can actually understand what the language they're speaking without assistance. They're speaking oh, under common. Cool. So you would have uh, caught, you would have, the last thing you would have caught, Gravel, is um, it's what they deserve for abandoning our mistress. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So another stealth check. Yep. Okay. All right. That is 15 plus. Uh, 26. Okay. And eventually, yeah, you get to the entrance of your tunnel and you can see these uh, five figures standing in the middle of the chamber and just drinking from water skins and just talking about the situation. Is the thing still following? You can, you can hear it slowly coming behind. Like, Do they seem to be alarmed by that? They do not. And they kind of turn in that direction they go why is the abomination coming this way hmm, must have sensed food ha. let's go check on the cocoons and they all nod and they start, the cluster starts to make their way towards the cocoon chamber yeah gravel is gonna say yeah he's he's gonna try and get the jump on one of these guys and he's just gonna loose on one all right attack with advantage because oh. Yeah, getting these guys by surprise. I mean, and this thing's coming, so yep. we don't want it to go the other way around. All right, so hack with advantage. Uh, let's say. Are you aiming for one of you? You would know the uh, from your time in the Underdark. You would know these dwarves to be Dwergar. So are you aiming for a Dwergar or a Drow? Dwergar only have pickaxes. The drow have uh, crossbows and short swords. I think gravel froze. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> are there? I thought there were two of each. You said five. Though. Ah, I'm back. No, there's five total. So, are you shooting at one of the Dwergar who are only using pickaxes, or one of the drow who have crossbows and short swords? Or the thing lumbering up the tunnel. <laughs> uh, I'm shooting the ones with the bows. Okay, so make one attack with advantage on one of the drow. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a 15 plus Hits. Uh, 7, 22. With sneak All attack. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to roll sneak attack. Ooh, that's balls. Um, that's 7 sneak attack. That sucks. Okay. Shit. 7 plus 4, 11 plus 4. 15 damage. 15. You hit that drow in the back of the head and they just drop to the ground dead. Just And the other two drow spin around, swords out, looking around. The Dwergar immediately turn like they're uh, uh, ready for whatever's happening. The three of you see... Oh, Lindak and Tleno, you see that happen. You see them become alert and you can hear that thing coming down the tunnel behind gravel as enoch is coming down the northern tunnel with uh umbra you all watch as that massive abomination starts to pull itself into the central chamber Ooh. and that is where we're going to end the session for the week <laughs> whoa oh my god <laughs> Well, not for the week, uh, for two weeks. Two weeks. December 30th, we'll be back with an initiative.
get time to think about it. <sighs> Situation. Yeah. We got two weeks to strategize, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. And I couldn't find, like, an image to just best describe what this thing looks like. It sounds awful. It's, it's, it's a worry. It's, it's we, homebrew. This is right homebrew, here. right? Yeah. yeah. The, that is awesome, the, man. That's what I had in my head is the, uh, the, uh, what, what's it called? In the, shit. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like, uh, you think of like a corpse collector or something. Well, in, in, um, in Bloodborne, there's this thing that, like, is birthed out of the moon. <laughs> and it's like, and it's just a collection of corpses. <laughs> and Justin, you know what I'm talking about. What's that called? The One Reborn, I think, is what it's called. Um, the One Reborn. Let me see if that's actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The One Reborn. Uh, that's what I had in mind when you were saying all that stuff. I was just like, this is so fucked. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, that's pretty close to what i envision but yeah it's like but more spider like in terms of its yeah legs. yeah this one has yeah this one has a whole bunch of legs too which is why i was like oh god that's horrific. yeah that's actually that's actually pretty similar yeah just uh it's yeah. it's got eight of those just like a arms. little bit more spider like yeah yeah and it's got a big old eggs cluster of egg sacs under its belly uh and its mouth is actually has like a big old gaping maw filled with wriggling hundreds of wriggling tongues Oh, so gross. I am so not disgusted. <laughs> but that is what you're fighting when we get back from the home. <laughs> and the cultists that are in this chamber. Great. Okay. Wow. Can I help? Sorry, I, I don't know. Sorry, I drug you guys into a battle. I was just thinking if this got if this got any further, we would start to get a disadvantage. <laughs> But no. yeah. It is like we are in an advantage for sure. Huh? Yeah, Talinder Lind and Lindek are still hidden. Um, yeah, we're still. And we do, I mean, would we still have them by surprise? We'll find out. Uh, okay. mm, yeah. Well, wouldn't they would from us? The, the miners, either. the miners are going to, all, all of the cultists, they're surprised. The big spider thing is not. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't think so about that big thing. Because then Enoch's like in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> really he's like Megazord in the tunnel. he's in the yeah. tunnel shielding so making sure light doesn't yeah. fall so through. So as Enoch like oh. gets to the end of the tunnel into the central chamber, he sees that big abomination like pull itself <laughs> out from that tunnel, and he just sees he's like mm -mm, let's go back up. Yeah, and he just let's sees go. it going. He just sees whatever it is, and then the <laughs> and then the, the weird sounds it makes. Yeah. I'll ask the questions later. <laughs> but uh, that's it for this week's uh, Legend of Wild Mount. We'll be back December 30th uh, after our yearly Christmas break uh, to pick up right here in this mine um, with this massive abomination. Lots of places to hide behind if you're a rogue. Uh, so good night, everybody. And thank you, Chet. We are great. Good night, everybody. We are. Yes. You got the good night. Merry uh, Christmas to yes. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yes. Happy holidays. Good night, everybody. Good night. We'll be back in half an hour for Gremlins. Have fun with that. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, bye. -bye.